Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing an updated how I curl my hair video. This video has been like highly requested for like the past year and I finally um, I'm going to do an updated video. I have another video of me showing how I curl my hair um, when I first started YouTube about a year ago but I decided it's time to do an updated one because a lot of people love how I've been curling my hair lately and just want to know how I achieve the curls that I achieve and I'm going to be curling my Eurasian Eurasian straight hair from the right way of hair and then right after I'm going to be doing my final review for the the hair in the next video that I'm gonna post like right after this one and I finally got a new flat iron this was sent to me from a company called irresistible me and this is their diamond flat iron and I was so excited that they wanted to send this out to me so I could review it for you guys because this flat iron is really really nice I haven't had a good flat iron in years I've had the same rinky dink flat iron for the past like three or four years and I finally needed a new one and this company contacted me on um to review this flat iron for them and this is how the flat iron looks it's such a nice flat iron I already tried it out and it's freaking amazing and like I've had the same bad flat iron for so long that like any flat iron would be great to me right now but this flat iron is really really nice um, like I said, it's called the Diamond Flat Iron. I just got it. It's so nice that when I'm curling my hair, I'm going to show you guys all the settings and all that good stuff. So I'm going to get into this curling my hair video, and I hope you guys enjoy. Bye. Okay, guys, so my flat iron is already heated up. It goes from 300 to 450 degrees. What I really like is that while it's heating up, the there's like a light that starts at the bottom and when it gets to the top that's how you know that um, your heating your heat setting is ready it's like a really nice neon light I think that's really really cute it this flat iron heats up in like seconds like five to ten seconds at like it's the it takes forever my old one takes like two minutes to fully heat up and this took like all but 10 seconds so that's done heating up what I like to do while my flat iron is heating up is separate my hair into two sections and then I start on one side with about a two inch section and clip up the rest of my hair with my clip and just keep it over there then I don't have any heat protectant because I was too lazy to go get some so this is the part when I usually put some you know um, heat protectant on the strand that I'm about to curl but I don't have any so um, I'm just going to cut that two inch section into a one about a one inch section well it's still like a two inch section but um, I'll start with about a section with this width about an inch and a half and I haven't curled with this flat iron yet, so let's see how it curls. Because it does have a curved end. Whenever a flat iron has a curved end, that means that it usually um, allows you to um, um, be able to curl your hair. So what I like to do with, with my bottom pieces, because my range of motion with my arm, like I just don't like curling my hair backwards, and it's hard to do with a longer with the bottom pieces. When I get to the top, I curl away from my face, but when I'm at the bottom, I just curl down and around like this. And that's my first curl. You see this hair curls beautifully. I love the way that this hair curls. I'm actually going to turn the setting down a bit because it's steaming in my face all types of crazy. So I'm going to turn it down to 400. Now I'm just going to take another piece. And I like to do bigger pieces when I want a nice big Kim K curls instead of like small Shirley Temple curls. I'll take bigger sections. So that it's like a nice body wave once it cools off. And there you go. I'm going to do another section for you guys before I go off and then finish my head and I'll probably come back and show you how I do the top. Take 
my brush, comb it out, separate the section, throw that back. And this is how I always curl my hair. I really don't do anything different. I don't have any different type of um, technique. This is how I curl my hair every time I curl it. There's nothing I do different. That's how I curl my hair all the time, guys. This hair is just gliding off the flat iron, gliding down the flat iron so nicely. I hate when my hair gets like stuck on the flat iron and I can't rotate it the way I want. And look at those beautiful curls. And now I'm going to just finish up the bottom of my hair and then I'll come back when I'm at the top and show you guys exactly what I do. Okay guys, so I'm at the top of the left side of my head and I'm just going to show you how I like to curl my hair at the top to get um, the nice wispy um, full body look. So what I like to do is, at the top I like to take smaller sections because um, I just feel like when you take smaller sections it's a little bit more wispy so I just curl my hair towards the back of my head. Just like that. Break this up into two. Again, definitely make sure you have heat protectant, especially if you have leave out, because you don't want such high heat on your leave out. I unfortunately ran out and I couldn't put any heat protectant on my leave out or my hair, which is a big no-no, but it's okay for right now. I'm just going to take this last piece. And curl it towards the back of my head. Like so. And now what I like to do is I just like to take my brush and kind of fluff out the curls, brush them out just a little bit because I don't like such defined curls. Pull them out, fluff your hair up a bit. I love this Eurasian hair like the way it curls the way it falls it does exactly what I like my hair to do when I curl it and yeah guys this is exactly how I curl my hair all the time all my Instagram photos this is exactly how I curl my hair every day when I do curl it so Hair was caught. So yeah, you guys, let me know how you like it. I hope this helps everyone. And thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.